Welcome back, everyone. It was not long ago when the city of Austin was looking to ban panhandling along I-35. Now a UT student is looking at possible solutions to homelessness through a project he has on display at the Visual Arts Center. Kate Whitehall checks it out new today. There's no such thing as getting rich doing this. I went out just randomly, met a number of different persons who were flying signs, panhandling, mainly along the I-35 corridor. Daniel Rudin wanted to know if the homeless are really working a job by flying a sign. When we see a homeless person, we can't just assume that that they, they're just a screw up and that they decided to be on the street. This studio arts master's student at the University of Texas met a dozen people who live on the street and asked them to tell their stories. Those videos and their words are called the working homeless on display now at the Visual Arts Center. I know how to play. I know how to write songs. What Rudin found surprising is that most people he met had a college degree. Christy was a practicing um, veterinarian for 14 years. Um, William had a, has a bachelor's in, um, in uh, interior design. And he found himself comparing panhandling to an entry-level job. If you go to a service sector job, an entry-level job, you're hustling, you're scrambling in a similar way that you're out there flying aside, just trying to make ends meet. But the one aspect of his experience that just can't leave him. Everyone I talked to had a ticket of some sort, or they had maybe 10 tickets. Or they had 15 tickets. One guy had $35,000 in tickets. Tickets from police for panhandling. It's not fixing the problem. It's just, just exacerbating tensions between the homeless and the police. Ultimately, he hopes this art project will promote the public to think about possible solutions instead of making it illegal. A panhandler, a sign flyer, is like almost like an ambassador for the homeless because they make homelessness visible. Kate Wydaw, KXAN, Austin News. And Kate says the working homeless will be on display through March the 12th. For more information, go to our website at kxan.com.